Alright guys, right, it's been a very long time since um, I made my last tutorial. Things have changed, there's been lots of updates, and now it doesn't even support rendering to an AVR anymore. So, despite me changing the annotations, I've had to come up with something new. So, I thought instead of just using the annotations, I'll just make a whole video altogether. So, as in the original video, you want to set up what you want to record and then record your demo. To record your demo, you want to go on the console and type in record, oh, it doesn't have to be in cap capital, record, and then the name. I'm just going to call this wall. Press enter, unpause. Uh, yeah, and your weapon will disappear until you fire it. So this is the demo. I'm recording the demo now. So let's do what I want to do. I'm going to switch to camera so it looks a bit better in the video. This is in real time as well, so it might be a bit slow. As you can see there, it's kind of freezing up. And this is what I have to go through when I'm rendering a video. It's not taking hours, like some people say. In fact, sometimes if it gets too laggy, it will just fail and you have to try again. But I hope this doesn't happen this time. No, it's getting there. There we go. Right. So, after you're done, you go to the console and type in stop. That's now recorded the demo. That is not a video file, that's just a source demo. And it will be about 2 or 3 megabytes. So, in order to get this demo into a video, you've got to render it. And you can do this externally using other programs, or you can actually use the source engine. So, I'm going to show you how to use the source engine. So, once you're back at the main menu, type in start movie. And then whatever you want to call the the video. So I'm just going to keep it the same as the other one. Wall. And then type in instead of AVI earlier, you want H264. Press enter. And that says start started recording movie. Now you want to set a frame rate. This is the frame rate the video will actually play at when it's done. So you type in host underscore frame rate. I want it at 30, 30 is pretty much the best. If you're putting them on YouTube, you want 30 FPS. If you wanted to slow it down to half speed, record it at 60, slow it down to half speed, and it will look like it will still be smooth. So, first frame rate 30 for me. Oh, oops. Now, this is the part where it does the rendering. So, play demo, and then the name of what you just recorded. We called it wall. And it's playing that demo, that demo file. You let it play the demo and it will take a while to render. I'll speed up this part of the video so you don't have to watch it rendering as it will take probably four or five minutes. Right, so that's finishing up there. 
Now, this is the most important part. You want to type in the console end movie. That's one word, and press enter. If you don't do that, your video file will be corrupt. So, once that's done, now we can go and look for the movie. So I'm going to click that, and the movie, so you go to oh, update it. computer, and now wherever you've got Steam installed, I'll put mine in applications, Steam, yours might be in program files, then Steam. So you find your Steam folder, Steam apps, your username, Gary's mod, Gary's mod again, and there it is. When you did AVI, they would go into the first Gary mod, they'd be sitting here. Now they go in the same file as all your, your demos. You can see this, this is some of my other demos barrels.dem, remake.dem, wall.dem, that's the one we just made. And that's a 3 megabyte demo file. If you play that, it will open with. Gary's mod. And that is the video of it that we just rented. So let's have a look at that. Oh yeah, it doesn't actually play because MP it doesn't seem to like Windows Media Player doesn't like it. Use VLC player. As you can see, video works just fine. And there are, these are, if you just want to make them quickly, um, there are other methods. I like using this one called SRC Demo. And it's somewhat temperamental, but if you can get it to work well, you can get really nice looking videos. I think I'm going to do a tutorial on that very soon. As you can see, there was no lag in that one. And pretty small file size, decent quality. So there you are. That is how to use the source recorder. I hope you found this updated version helpful. And if you've got any questions, just leave a comment.